Last week, you used the library catalog to locate and access library books. This week, we are going to use a general subject database to locate articles from journals, magazines, and newspapers on your topic. From now until the end of the semester, each week you will be using different library resources to locate sources for your topic. Please do not start finding sources on your own. It is important that you proceed in the order assigned for several reasons. Remember that this class is to introduce you to many library resources and we want to approach them systematically. In addition, you will need to learn to cite sources from a variety of formats and we want to approach those in a sensible order as well. A general database is defined as a resource to locate materials in all subject areas. And a periodical database includes periodicals of all types. As you select your sources, it is important to recognize the different types of periodicals and their purposes. Newspapers are written for the general public by journalists and reporters, and the articles are for the general public to understand the world around them. But journalists and reporters are not subject specialists. They are great at gathering local information and sharing it with the community. There may be doctors, lawyers, and other professionals that have a regular column in a newspaper, but their role is to explain issues in the field to the community. Magazines are written for the general public, although many of them are written for interest groups such as crafts, sports, fashion, exercise, and almost any topic. Again, the articles are written by journalists and reporters, although many of them have more background in the subject than newspaper reporters. For example, a business magazine writer may have a bachelor's degree in business and can explain many contemporary business issues to the general public. And that is how non-business people can understand many of the business decisions today. Trade publications are a type of magazine. Although written for people working in a particular field, the articles are not based on primary research. They are based on experience. For example, a hospitality trade publication may publish an article about the successful promotion of their tourism industry. The great ideas will be appreciated by others in hospitality and tourism, but there are no experiments or other primary research. Journal articles are written by and for professionals in a particular field, and the articles focus on research performed by the authors. Many of them are peer-reviewed, which means that other professionals in the same field assess their research for accuracy, ethical research methods, and validity of results. The peer review process adds quite a bit of credibility to the information, so many college instructors require journals for research projects. Start at the ISU Library webpage and select the Research Guides tab and then choose College Level Research. On this page, there are several tabs of information about doing research, and the Find Articles tab will take you to a brief list of databases and a link to the research guides list. Click on Academic Search Complete. If you are using a non-ISU computer, you will have to log in with your ISU identification number and last name. If you don't know this, log on to Bengal Web to find it. This is the front screen in Academic Search Complete. I have made a tutorial to guide your use of this database using software called Guide on the Side. Click on the link in Moodle to the tutorial called General Databases Academic Search Complete. And here it is. Use the arrows at the bottom of the gray explanatory area to progress through the explanations. You can navigate through the database with the directions on the side. After using the guide on the side to learn about the features and format of the database, do a search on your topic. Then use the facets on the left to select one journal article, one magazine or trade publication article, and one newspaper article on your topic. You may need to adjust your terminology depending on the type of source, using more scientific and specific terms for the journals. 
Do a score assessment on each of the articles chosen for your topic. Make sure you note at the top of your submitted work your name, the topic, and the citation format. Refer to the sample score assignment you did in Week 3 and your citation worksheet about how to do the citations for each type of source. In your search strategy, make sure you include the name of the database, Academic Search Complete, your search terms, and the facets and other tools you use to select your sources. And make sure your relevance comment is specific about what each article contributes to your research. You don't have to read each article. The abstract and the subject heading should provide enough information to do your relevance comment. Remember, these notes are to help you decide which sources to use in your research, so put down information that will help you with that decision after you have found about 20 sources. Once again, if you want my assistance, please contact me.